Welcome back, you gorgeous weirdos. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I was in the mood for something super fun, whimsical, not something I would normally do, but this came out so freaking cute, and I was gonna just do it for myself, but I figured, let me film it. I'll show you guys how to do it. It's super easy. It's reverse stamping. I'm doing these on press-ons because that's what I do. You don't have to use gel for this. You can do this over dip or builder gel or natural nails, nail polish, whatever you wanna do. I'm using D&D, this um, really cute teal color. I'm going to get a full coat of this over the nail, cure for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to do a second coat, and then we're going to get right into reverse stamping. This is so much fun. I've heard people call this, quote unquote, advanced stamping. I don't know about all that. I know it's a lot of fun. If you are someone who enjoys like adult coloring books, this is something you will absolutely love. This is the plate I'm going to use. I'll leave it linked down below if it's available. Um, if it's not, I'll try to leave something similar down below <laughs> if I can find it. But these are so stinking cute. There are fairies. There are little mushrooms, which I'm obsessed with. I love mushrooms. Okay, that maybe that, don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> what I mean to say is I love mushrooms. I don't know how else to say that. I, I mean, do I eat them? Yes. The regular kind, not like the magical kind. We're getting off track. Anyways, <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. As mentioned, I'm going to do a second coat, even though this is a really full coverage gel. Uh, I figured let me just throw on a second coat because that's pretty much what I always do. I'm going to get it cured and then I'm going to talk you through how to do this absolutely adorable reverse stamping. While that's curing, I'm going to go ahead and get all my stuff situated. I got my cotton grabby thing, <laughs> cotton claw, I don't know. I got some acetone. I'm going to clean off the plate just to make sure there's no dust or cat hair or whatever else on this plate. I have never used this plate before, so it probably didn't need to be cleaned, but I'm cleaning it anyway. These are the colors I'm going to use. They're both from Maniology. I'm going to do the outline in cocoa. And then in this skin deep color, I'm going to do a little painting for the reverse stamping. I'm also going to use a yellow and a red. These are by both by what? <laughs> both by Born Pretty. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick up the outline. And again, I'm using the dark brown. You can use black if you want to. I just think sometimes black can be a little bit harsh as an outline. So I went with a dark brown. So I put a good amount of polish over the image, scraped it down, and now I'm gonna pick it up with my jelly stamper. This one is also from Maniology. And here is what the image looks like. It's It came out so cute. I cannot wait to do this. I mean, I already did it, but I can't wait to show you how I do this because it was literally so much fun. I'm just gonna take some tape, remove any excess image that may have gotten on the stamper, set it off to the side. And now I'm gonna also pick up, I'm gonna pick up this image again, but I only want a little cluster of shrooms for another little accent. So I'm going to do one full nail, one nail covered in mushrooms, and then one little accent nail with a tiny little cluster of mushrooms. And we're going to color them both in. So again, I put the polish down, scrape it off, pick it up. Now I'm going to remove with some scotch tape any images that I did not want. You want to do this kind of carefully because you don't want to accidentally remove the images that you want to keep on the stamper. Uh, once I have that done, Gonna set it off to the side, let them dry for just a few minutes, and then we're gonna start painting.
So I'm bringing y'all in real close. So we're going to do this together. This is going to be so much fun. I'm going to put just a teeny tiny little dot down of that skin deep color very neutral. That's going to be for the stems of the mushrooms. Now, I like to use a small detail liner brush. You don't have to. You could use a dotting tool or a toothpick, whatever you're most comfy using. And I'm just going to very gently paint in all of the mushroom stems. Now, you don't want to drag your brush over the image because that could disrupt or even smear the original image. So you're kind of just moving the polish around on the image. You're not putting the brush down on the stamper. Does that make sense? You wanna have a very gentle hand when you're doing this so you don't disrupt the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint in all of the mushroom stems. Then we're gonna move on to the next step. So now I'm taking that red stamping polish, and you don't have to use stamping polish for this. You can use regular polish if you're coloring in. Stamping polish I really only use when I'm picking up an image because it's super opaque and dries really fast. But you can use any polish you want to do this coloring. So now I'm going to do the mushroom caps. Now most of these are just mushroom caps, but there are a few mushrooms that have that like, what do you call them, like the fins underneath the cap. So I'm not going to do that in red. I'm going to do those in yellow, but we're going to paint in all these little mushroom caps. I'm going to let you all watch. This might be a little, I don't know, zen moment for you guys. I love watching this kind of content myself. It's just so relaxing to sit and watch. So I'll throw on the music. I'm going to let you guys watch me do all this painting and then I'll come back.
Was that relaxing? It was for me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and fill in just those few little fins underneath some of those caps in the yellow. And then I'm going to let this sit to the side and completely dry. You want to give it about 5-10 minutes before you touch it. But while it's drying, I'm going to paint in those other couple of mushrooms. So I'm going to let you all hang out for a few more minutes. And then I'm going to come back and show you how to apply them to the nails. So let's get this on the nail. Now my gel is tacky because gel dries tacky, right? So I can stamp right over the tacky layer. But if you're not using gel or if you put a tough coat on it, you're gonna wanna use a sticky base coat. I'll leave that link down below. And you're just gonna pick a place, commit to it and stamp it right on the nail. And that's literally as easy as it is. I'm gonna pat down the sides to make sure everything is laying flat. There is a couple of um, are a couple of images that are hanging over the edge and that's super duper easy to clean up. You can either clip them off with some cuticle nippers. I like to take a cleanup brush with a little acetone and just go around the edges and get rid of anything excess that's hanging off before anything else. And once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and put on my smudge free top coat that will just prevent smudging of your stamp 
whether you put something else over it, like, you know, your regular top coat, gel top coat, whatever it is you want to throw down, smudge coat, smudge coat, <laughs> smudge free top coat always comes first. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And then I'm going to top coat. I went ahead and I let the smudge free top coat completely dry down. Doesn't take long, five, 10 minutes is all you need. And now I'm gonna go in with a matte gel top coat. You can use regular polish top coat. You can use matte top coat, whatever your preference is. You can even activate over this and do dip top coat if that's what you wanna do. But I'm gonna do my matte gel top coat. I'm gonna cure it for a full minute. I can't wait for you to see the finished look. And here's the finished look. Can you even? This is by far the most adorable set of nails I've ever done in my whole entire life. They're just so magical and fun. And I don't know, it makes me feel childlike. I couldn't wait to get them on the nails. Here's what they look like on. I am literally obsessed. This was so much fun to do. I can't wait to do more reverse stamping. If you're loving the reverse stamping and the stamping content I'm doing, leave a mushroom emoji down in the comment section so I know to do more of it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope the rest of your day is as beautiful as you are, and I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.